Hey guys, exciting day here at CCXRC. Thanks for tuning in. We've got a special box on the bench from Bucks Unique Customs. It is a custom body that's going to go up on that Red Cat Ground Pounder. Um, once I get it off of there and we get it set up for the body, I'll do a different video about this. Today is all about this body and what it looks like. And so we're going to shoot it in 4K to let you guys see this thing in uh, in all of its glory. So let me just make sure we've got everything cut open here. Had the mic cut off when I was cutting it at first, so we're gonna get a look here. What we've got in our box, first of all, we can see his logo. We've got some goodies in here. What do we got in here? Let's go ahead and let's open it. it looks like we've got a custom ax that he's done here. So I think he 3D prints these and then he does a little bit of specialty work with them. Let's get it down here on the bench. All right. Oh yeah, there we go. So it's a machine gun and the little ax is right here. He's done a little bit of custom work to make it super cool. And again, here's his logo, Bucks Unique Customs, guys. Wait till you see this body. Some stickers and decals in here. Got it all wrapped up nice and tight for the shipment. Oh, I saw a sneak peek of that blue. It looks amazing. Oh, I'm so stoked. All right, we're starting to get a glimpse in here. Ah, oh, the gas tanks. <laughs> the spikes are catching the wrapping here. Man, it looks good. There's a little bit of a scent to the fresh paint in the box here. See, he's got it wrapped it up nice in here for me. Some foam pieces. Make sure he's got everything, nothing broke off. Doesn't look like it, so we'll drop this out of the way. Oh, that is so sick. All right, guys. Here is the body. Check that out. So this is a 1979 Ford 250 Super Cab. Uh, I got it from J Concepts. I ordered it, had it shipped directly to Buck so that he could do the work on it that you see here. Uh, the post-apocalyptic build on this or uh, custom design. You can see he's cut out the windows on here and he's done uh, metal plating and it's all screwed in nice and tight. Look at the paint on this though. This blue is amazing. It's Ford blue. Oh, check out the front end here. So he's got the eyeballs are the screws that are going in. He's painted those red. We've got the rib cage right there centered on the front of the body. Look at how tough that looks from the front. Yeah, so that's so cool. Rusted out. We've got the spikes coming off of here. Anybody's trying to get near this truck, they're going to get, uh, well, let's just say it's not going to be pretty. All right, so custom work up here on the hood. Got these smokestacks coming out that he's done and he's wrapped with some metal around him. I know he said on the video I did with him live, he was using gears and stuff from old VCRs, which I think is super cool. The, uh, the mesh windshield. One of the coolest parts is right here. These are uh, skeleton hand. Uh, side view mirrors or and it's actually got mirror plating on the other side here check that out so cool all right so we got to look around so here it came in the little baggies a little gun looks like it'll just kind of rest up here on this turret maybe like so so you can take it off if you're gonna go out riding but when you want to really scale it up make it look awesome you just put it up on top there and the detailing, I don't know, here you can see it. We've got um, an ammo can, and there's all these little bullets that are like kind of falling off as it's, uh, you know, shooting out the shells out of the side of the gun. He's got them stuck on here like they're, you know, flying past, probably rolling off mid-drive. Uh, so cool. Even here on the back tailgate. What do we got here on the back? So we've got our uh, our headlight decals, or our, sorry, our taillight decals here, brake lights. The Forge sticker. And then he makes these. So here, we've got two gas cans on the back. And uh, it's got this bamboo truck bed liner here. It's kind of punched out metal uh, tin on the back window. And then, uh, so these look like they're glow sticks. Uh, so it's like dual fuel lines going down in. 
and then he's gone and custom painted all of this so there's like barbed wire or there's wire holding these on and he's made these out of like pill bottles that he set that he had around so all of this custom work a lot of it he's doing with just random bits and pieces that he's going and making um, into really cool bits so all of this is bolted down you can see here in the bed how it's held in place with a you know a bunch of these uh, allen screws here hex screws up on the front here on the uh, it's got like a tally you know like your kill count going on up here it's so cool um, you know what let's let's look so what he says is that he paints the interior of these uh, one way and so all of this is painted on the interior but then he also paints the exterior of them and so as it chips and stuff as you're driving it actually is like a real car and it's kind of reveal the gray and stuff underneath so that's kind of cool I think uh, but you can see the nice detail work that he's done all throughout here uh, with his paint job on this and so I'm excited about this um, take another look inside you can see how he's attached everything lots of screws in here lots of custom work that he's done uh, little bolts and all of that drilled out glued in place so cool all right so what do we got to do let's let's get this truck over here and see what it's going to look like we're keeping this free flowing i wanted to be able to look around it and so this is what it's going to go on guys is this ground pounder. I wasn't sure in the very beginning what I was going to do, what I was going to put it on. I was first thinking I wanted him to make me a, a scale truck or something to put it on. And in the end, uh, the scale truck I was thinking about, I ended up trading away for some other custom work I'm having done. Um, so I decided I wanted to get a new body for this. And I wasn't finding anything that I wanted in particular. And then I realized maybe he should do something, make this the build. And so I'm going to have to make a custom way to mount it. But we can give you guys kind of the basic idea here of what it's going to look like. I'm going to have to back up. Yeah, that's going to look so killer. So I've got right now a side mounting posts. I don't know if I'm going to push those through and actually make holes in the body. Or if I'm going to go to some kind of a Velcro system for this, maybe make some plates on the sides here um, that run on these particular mounts here uh, that I can put a Velcro on. Or I don't know. I'm going to have to think about it. But I'll do a little video when I do get that done. But, you know, for now we can definitely show you what it's going to look like on the truck. And it looks mean. That is for sure. Just a cool body in general by J Concepts. And then this really sets it off. This makes it look so, so stinking cool. There we go. Check that out, guys. That is super killer. So I got to thank Buck. Uh, you guys should check out what he does. We'll link below to his uh, Facebook page and his Instagram. Uh, you can get in touch with him there. The uh, the cost at the time of this is a hundred bucks to get all the custom work done. You have to send him your body if you want to get it done, but it's very reasonable for the amount of time that he puts into this, uh, the amount of work that goes into it, plus the spare uh, or not spare, but the accessories, the scale accessories that you get with it, on top of you know painting the body up for you and the time that he puts into it. Uh, totally worth it when you think about how much accessories cost and so um, Yeah, I'm super super stoked with how this turned out and I can't wait to get it Fixed onto the body or onto the truck Permanently and we'll have to do something with those rims though to make it match up a little bit better because uh, They just aren't fitting with it for me. So uh, It's definitely gonna change the look of this truck and I think it's for the better guys definitely let us know what you think down below i think it looks super killer and so you better think so as well <laughs> just kidding guys but honestly let us know what you think uh check out what buck is doing on his instagram and his facebook and uh man i've got a sweet new ride thanks to buck's unique customs and uh i probably won't be uh bashing this one i'm gonna keep this one for show and uh I, you know i might do some competitions with it and uh but i just won't 
generally bash it but you may see this out in some races here soon guys so thanks for tuning in as always this is the new custom uh work that we've had done post apocalyptic build by bucks unique customs guys uh, go over give him a thumbs up and a like on his page make sure you give this video if you like it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you want more rc content and uh, let us know what you uh, think down in the comments ask us ask some questions whatever but whatever you do have fun rc and guys and we'll catch you next time <music>